Good morning, good morning, everybody. Um, I am here at the Tully at the Red Covered Bridge. And we're going to try to get another video for you guys today. And I'm hoping that I have some success with midges today. Now, ah. Uh, it just kills me to see this water this color. It's dirty, but it's still, there's some clarity, but this flow for the last four days has been the same between 265 and 270, which is really good, but why it's coming out this dirty, I have no idea. And it's been this way for a while, but uh, for like two weeks, doesn't matter what the flow is, it's coming out this dirty. And we haven't had any significant rain to turn it this color. So I don't know what valve they're pulling the water out of the dam, but this is sure dirty water. So, whatever. Just got to deal with it. So today, um, I'm using my Echo 11 foot 3 weight Shadow X nymphing rod. And I am using a micro egg. This is the fluorescent sunburst orange. I got a, you can't see it real good, but there's a black midge pupa with a glass bead. And then down here, I got a red midge pupa with an ivory opal type bead. Okay, they're both size 20s, the uh, midge pupas. And hopefully we can get you some fish on. Now I'm using the egg up top just as an attractor to bring the fish hopefully they'll see the rig and uh, go for it especially with this dirty water um so you know let's just see what we can do today i'm saying this like i'm not going to catch any fish <laughs> i'm assuming i'm going to catch fish but this isn't the conditions that i really would like today and we we rarely get the conditions that we want so we just got to make do with it and that's why it's called fishing <laughs> so um let's see how we do here i'm going to try to focus on not flat water i heard from some guy saying well you're not fishing flat water last time i said flat water well when you have riffle pool riffle pool the pool is the flatter water but it's not necessarily like up there it's almost like glass up in those flats but you still got this nice calm section in between the rifts and that's my last video that's what i was trying for i didn't know what to term it because i don't want to call it the pool water i didn't want to call it slow water because it's not slow and it's not flat but it's it is flat <laughs> so i mean flatter than the rift so uh, that's what i just called it the last time so today i'm going to still focus on that kind of water flat water and calmer water not go to the rifts and um well, i might be i might go to some rifts because we're not really at least i usually have better luck in calmer water with mid pupas than i do the fast water but this is a this is i'm trying to get a midge pupa or midge video versus um you know using other flies other than that glow bug for an attractor just to bring them in the area so if i have to use the midge in slightly faster water you know so be it but okay you can see yeah i could see this is about two foot deep in front of me i could see to the bottom so it's not dirty dirty muddy but it's still not ideal at least i would love it to be a little clearer than this but hey you know this is what we got so that's uh i got five x on because uh, i'm using the midge pupas and they are small and uh let's see how we do here take the first cast of the day boom okay i'm not gonna go out that far at first just see what we got right in front of us to start with I let it go through the swing and I caught a, several other midge colors that I'd like to try out today if these guys don't work so boom 
Oh, that rig just feels so light, so easy to flick around. <laughs> really no wind to speak of yet today. Supposed to have a little bit of wind in the afternoon. But it's, uh, I don't know, 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning right now. I gotta put a split shot on. I'll be right back. I had a split shot up on my truck and I left it on. <laughs> I left it there. I didn't put it on my line. So let me put a let me put a split shot on. I'm gonna put a number four split shot on. Cause I'm sure that thing is not floating much deeper than the surface. Nope. No split shot on there. I'll be right back. Okay, so now I got my number four split shot on. I was wondering why that rig felt, <laughs> wondering why that rig felt so light. I was like, oh man, I think it's easy to cast. So let's get down a little deeper, closer to the bottom. Look at that, put on the split shot and we get a fishy. <laughs> That's what a difference a split shot can make. So let's see what this guy is on. Oh my gosh. Oh, yay, he's on the Mitch Pupa. I don't know which one. I don't know yet. He's staying fairly deep. Nice fish though. Nice fish. What a difference. Took three or four casts without a split shot, put on the split shot, and boom, we get into fish. This guy is on the black, the black midge pupa. I'll show you that when we get it up here. Nice. Jeez, oh man. There you go. Nice, nice boy, nice boy, nice boy. Keep you in, keep you in. Get you. Oh, he's off already. He <laughs> hee, that's, that's on a competition hook. Good 13 inches. Fat boy, though. Come on, let me get you out of here. He's in the water, so I want to get my rig out of here. There he is, get the rig out. I'm gonna let him go. There he is. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, let's show you that. Black Mitch Pupa. So, it's on this, it looks like a big hook, but it's a size 20 competition hook. They just got big gaps, okay? And um, just black thread body, um, silver, extra small, extra small or fine rib, uh, dark gray, gray collar, two little strands of crystal flash, only about an eighth of an inch long, sticking out as like an emerging wing and the glass bead, okay? So there we go, there we go. Okay, isn't that something? <sighs> Boom, do this again. Let's get down to the bottom. There he, there, that, another one. Jeez, oh man, two casts, two fish. Oy, oy, oy. With the, with the, oh, he got off. <laughs> That's okay, let him go. That's okay. Boom. It's okay. They must be feeding on midges. Oh, oh, that was a hit. That was a hit. Oh wow, we, we got we got some fish right out here in front of us. Try that again. Try closer. Do it a little closer again. Hmm. 
Do that again? Come on. Maybe there's some... I know there's stuff out there, rocks and stuff, but... There he is. There he is. Okay. Wow, that's nice. Oh, I can't. <laughs> We're having a great day. Great morning already. I think this guy is on the micro egg, though. I think he is. Oh, no, he's not. Nope, he's on the black Mitch pupa again. On the black Mitch pupa. Uh-oh. It looks like he's foul hooked. Huh. What's up with that? I don't know. That's okay. We'll get him up. We'll get him up. Maybe he was one of the ones that... Maybe he was the one that got off earlier. We'll see. We'll get him up. Get him up. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. We didn't try that, but... We never intend for that to happen, but it happens. Nice. Rainbow again. On that little fin. Here's out, here's out. There's an ugly one. <laughs> well, he just had some chewed up fins. There he is. Nice. Although this guy, I think, is on the micro egg. Yes, he is. He's on the micro egg. Tell you what, these rainbows are nice and fat. Definitely healthy. Oh, this one's a brownie. Brownie, brownie, brownie. Wow. It's 12, 13. Nice, 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 nice. Let's get him go. Let him go, let him go. Okay. Not what that was, but it made the line jump. There he goes. Oh, nice fish. Nice fish. He's on one of the midge pupas. Okay, okay. Man, that was a nice fish. Watching the squirrels over there. Three of them. <laughs> following each other <laughs> this guy looks like he's on the black midge pupa so if that dark colors work and I'm gonna put on the top secret midge take off that <clears throat> that uh, dirty yellow midge cream colored this is uh, another nice big fat rainbow something about 14 inches 
Okay, nice, 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 nice. Yep, there's the midge hanging right out of his mouth. Okay, okay, okay. Boom. Mm, there he goes. Right at the summer swing. At, like I said, close to the tail of tail out of the pool. Not the very, very tail out, but but there are fish down there too. Let's see what this guy's on. Oh god off! Oh, got off. Oh, well. I guess we landed four out of six. Something like that. Three out of four. I don't know. Four out of six or seven. Something, uh, or five out of seven. We landed. I mean, we have been here maybe 40, 45 minutes, so... The fishies are hungry and they are eaten. Boom. <sighs> we had two get off. That's okay. That's okay. Plenty more fishies to catch. Anything on that tail? On the swing. Let's check our flies, make sure they're good. Yep, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. <clears throat> Boom. Taking baby steps, we're getting closer to the other side. Oh, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes. Man, he whacked it twice. He whacked it twice. He's on the the micro egg. It's tied on a size 18. Big, nice big rainbow. Um, it's tied on an 18, 24.99, and I think it's got a 564th gold bead on it. And it's tied with the five millimeter eggs to see. The standard eggs to see material is a 15 millimeter. This is just a five. And you wanna go smaller. That's our second one here. <clears throat> The rainbows are healthy. And they always are on the tubby this time of year in the winter. They are just fat. Like a half pound heavier than the brownies of the same size. Got guts on them. This guy's strong. Nice, nice, big fat. Okay, let me 
get him out. Yeehaw. Boy, he's a good 14 and a half, almost 15 inches. Wow. Shouldn't be on the other side. Shouldn't miss that rock. Oh. I thought I did miss it, but maybe it was another rock or a stick. There you go. Oh, that was a rock. Oh, there's a fish on there. Oh, <laughs> he's on the top secret midge. <laughs> I don't know what came first, the hit or the snag, but either way, he got it out. He's on the size 24 top secret midge. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, another nice big rainbow. I'll show you that midge. There you go. There you go, there you go, there you go. Oh, cow, 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 cow. There you go. Woo -hoo -hoo. Okay. Let's show you. Man, that water doesn't feel that bad. It said it was around 39. So, there's the black midge pupa. And here's the top secret midge. Right there, it's got two little strands of the crystal flash coming out of it. A rust colored collar, a little gold bead, I mean a little clear bead. And then the body, you look that up, top secret midge on the internet. Okay. Hey guys, so, had a snag out here, I had to get out here and take you, get the snag out. So, we're out closer to the middle. This is a decent area right here. So, should get some hits out here. There he is. Man, that's slow. Man, is that a fish? I mean, it's a fish. I didn't know if it was a trout or a sucker because, man, he just didn't move when I set the hook. I think he's on the glow bug. Uh, I think he's on the glow bug. He is. He's on the micro egg. He is on the micro egg. I still didn't see the fish. I mean, I saw a little bit of him, but it, not enough to know if it was a trout or a sucker. Oh, the trout. Brownie. Brownie. This is our third brownie. I think we got like six, seven rainbows and three brownies. Okay. There you go, there you go, there you go. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Oh. Let <laughs> me get him off. He's off, but <laughs> he's still tangled up. There's a fishy, there's a fishy, on the swing, on the swing. 
Ooh, look at that. He looked like he was on the black midge pupa. I think. Uh-oh. It was a kind of a weird hit though. So I don't know. Oh. Look. Oh, he's on there. Feels like he's in a snag though. Oh, he's just, what the heck's up with him? Why is he so, I'll come back up to this, why is he? I don't know if he's foul hooked. Like I said, when I hooked him, I think he's foul hooked. Oh, there he goes, yep. I think he was foul hooked. When I, when, uh, when I set the hook, it wasn't, it didn't feel solid. I don't know if it was on a snag or what, but it didn't feel solid, so. Okay, well that's the third one that got off. Whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Hook. That's not a fish. Okay. Oh, there he goes. Ha ha! Got you! <laughs> oh, jeez. Jump in my face. Jump in my face. Jump in my face. I think he's on the micro egg. He's on the micro egg. Yes, he is. Rainbow. Come on. There you go. Nice and calm. Look at that, look at that. Good 13 inches. Fat, fat, fat. Okay. <laughs> it's been a while. Probably almost an hour and a half since I caught a trout. About 45 minutes ago I caught that sucker. But, uh, hmm. At my third spot now. And, uh, I don't know if, if, I would think the fish should still be heating, he, eating, heating, eating. There's been, you know, a few guys out in the stream. So, There he goes. What is this boy on? Okay. Ooh, man, he's fighting slow, like a, like another sucker. <laughs> like another sucker. Decent sized fishy, whatever it is. Oh man, is he fighting real slow?
Hmm, that's a pretty big fish. I, oh no, he's on the black midge pupa. On the black midge pupa. Cool. Still getting them on the midges. Oh, it's a trout. It's a trout. Just a nice size trout. Come on, come on. Man, he is heavy. Kind of glad he's not fighting C too crazy. Man, I cannot, he is so heavy. I cannot budge him. Look at that boy! Oh, good 16. Good 16. Mm -hmm. Wow, look. That's a big old boy. He's got a sore mouth. Healing up. Okay, buddy. Man, he is. Man, that was one heavy fish. There he goes, there he goes. There he goes, there he goes, there he goes. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, the, f the fish in this section are just casually fighting. He's on the black midge pupa too. Isn't that something? Size 20. Black midge pupa with a with a um uh, glass bead. Wow we Okay, 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 boy. Okay, there you go. Let me get him out. There he goes. Man. Mm -hmm. He's hooked weird. Let's see. He's, he looks like he's hooked weird. Yes, he is. I thought he was. Uh, let's get him up real quick. If he gets off, he gets off. Get him up here real quick. Don't give him time. This is like our third one that we fell today. 
don't know what it's... Okay. Big. Nice one, though. Nice one. Oh. Hey, good. Everything is off. Okay. Good about those barbless hooks. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Well, he just... Go, go, go. <laughs> go, go, go. There you go. Okay. Over there. That was cool. Well, get over there. There he goes. Another one. Who? This one's on the black bench pupa too. Oh, he got off. Ah, I was gonna say, man, he was hooked good too. I saw he was, it was in his mouth. He was fighting the right way. But he just got off. Let's look at our flies. It's not bad. Jeez, that was like the fourth or fifth one here at this spot. Okay guys, well, that's our day here um, on the Tully. And we were just used one rig all day today <laughs> three small things the micro egg black mitch pupa and uh the top secret midge pupa okay uh both of the pupas were size 20 and the uh, micro egg was an 18 24.99 hook and that's using the eggs to see five millimeter material okay so hey i hope you guys liked it even with this higher dirty water uh, i know you can't see it that great here now but those fish <laughs> found that um teeny little midge pupa and the egg and uh we had some fun with it today okay so i hope you like it uh you know i do show you videos like up on the delaware or other places that i go that i do use bigger stuff but there's some days that, you know, using small stuff works. And in the winter time, really the only bug activity that's happening 90% of the time, 99% of the time is just midges. There's the occasional spring, spring creek that might get a blue-winged dollop hatch, but for the most part, any type of bug activity in the winter is going to be midges. So midge pupas and, um, yeah, different size midge pupas. You know that's fish are used to seeing them so give it a shot they look so tiny you would think ah, the fish isn't even going to see it but they see it they're used to seeing those little things and eating those little things so give them a shot okay thanks a lot guys talk to you later bye